Yeah, right here. Certainly is a big station. Come on, dear. Jim, has it been a lovely honeymoon? Darling. Lady. I'm sorry I can't manage a better tip. My lady, there's something that don't give me none at all. Or two, miss. for my wife. Wish you luck. Yes, ma'am? Is this a good mystery story? Excellent. The butler kills him, and you'll never guess by until the last chapter. Thank you. I'll take it. You are a man who will go through life carrying a heavy load. Sure. Young man. My dear lady, I've told you 57 times. The train is four hours late. But we have dinner at seven. Lady, will you please move on? Can't you see I'm very busy? Thanks. I don't believe he knows a thing. Baggage? I've got some. Have you time? Time for what? Why, that's a magazine. Oh, surely. Have your life? Yes. Judge? Yes. That evening pose? Yes. Outlook? Yes. I'll have a package of gum and variety. An actor, huh? I saw you at the theater this week. Good. Well, I'm leaving. Good. Hello, Vera. 
Why, bless my soul, if it isn't Joe Storu. All made up like Astor's pet horse. Who's the victim? I've got a millionaire that's worth his weight in gold. Yeah, well, if I'm any judge of human nature, you'll have him off the gold standard in 30 days. Don't be silly. He's got nothing but $1,000 bills. He don't know it, dearie, but it's only a matter of time before he matches Penny with the newspaper boy on the corner. How do you like the mink coat? He can take it, dearie. He can take it. And so can you, dearie. So can you. Hey, I'm Russell of the Sheriff's Office. You got my transportation here? Yep, here we are. Two for the big house and one return. Okay, thanks. Pardon me, can I carry your grip? open in two minutes, Captain. Well, I'll see you in the car. duty now. Will you leave me alone? I don't want to talk to you or any reporter. I'm sorry about it all. For you, kid. I don't want your pity. leave on Christmas Eve, but business is business. That's all right, dear. I understand. Shall I come on the train with you? Oh, nonsense. I wouldn't think of letting you. Much too drafty. You run along home, dear. Don't miss your train. I won't. I'm never too busy to see an old friend. I know it. Never too busy to take a new one. Well, see you later. Hello, dear. <laughs> darling, you're a bad boy to keep me waiting. Sorry, darling. My wife insisted on driving to the station with me. Made me late. Take those two. Something to read? All right, dear. Get me Snappy Stories, Ballyhoo, and Jim Jim Jim. Hmm? Uh, uh, literary Digest? No, no. Atlantic Monthly? No. Wall Street Journal? No, no, no. Uh, snappy Stories, Ballyhoo, and Jam Jiminy Jims. You mean Jim Jam Jim? Yes, yes. Jiminy Jam Jims. <clears throat> there you are. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, shall we have a drink? <coughs> Hello, Tony. Where are you going? 
I'm on my way to the Yola Sanatorium. Going to cover the Harriman suicide? Going out there to live? No, pal. To die. Good God, Tony, don't talk like that. You'll be all right. Yeah. Come on, Collins. That's us. Let's go. Come on. Right, number four. Hey, Christmas. They're going to burn him New Year's Eve. Pretty tough. Yeah. Well, so long, Dick. Merry Christmas. Same to you, Tony. Many of them. Buck up. change to the sheriff. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. No wonder I didn't get any applause in this town. They handcuffed the people. Gosh, a trip to be taken. Christmas Eve to the death house. Excuse me. 